Mitchell, Careers Family. I am back with another amazing video. I'm actually going to make this like a two for one special, okay? If you guys do not know, Blackboard has been a company that I've probably posted a couple hundred times, okay? Blackboard is a company that does allow you guys to do live chat not only in the technical support side but look on over here my friend they also have it in customer service so you are actually able to do both things they actually have other listings as well they do outbound inbound uh, enrollment specialists just to name a few and generally whenever you see something that says kind of just united states here you automatically know nine times out of the ten it's going to be a remote position you can also see that this position just recently posted i mean it just posted and we're gonna be on it okay so this is a live chat technical support customer service advisor position literally what you'll be doing is you will be assisting uh, students generally with any issue that they may be having with using the Blackboard platform. If nobody knows what Blackboard is, Blackboard is generally how I in college would be able to get all of my uh, notes from school, uh, professors, maybe even talk to some of the other students in order to get my work done, how I submitted maybe files or documents to my professor. Again, because it is such a major platform and so many colleges just use blackboard you are gonna probably have a job for a long time so this is not one of those temporary contracts that you may see with some of the other BPOs okay blackboard is gonna be here for a very 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 long time because there's not really too much another software that compares to blackboard okay and so again, you're going to provide IT help desk and uh, student life science management with kind of helping improve student students engagement, just kind of making sure that they can kind of go through the uh, platform uh, successfully. OK, you're going to resolve any inquiries uh, uh, using the chat technologies. You're going to provide and complete and create information. Um, so you are going to be able to install, maintain, troubleshooting computers, printers and phone. So you may want to be some somebody that is going to be a little bit on the tech savvy side right so you are going to be able to work from home again you are going to be sitting at your desk for extended periods of time I was surprised that someone said that said hey you know how long do you sit at your desk and I go I forget sometimes I literally forget how long I've sat at this desk and sometimes I could be going on probably six hour increments before I really actually move because you get so I guess you get so busy, your brain is moving so fast that you kind of forget that you've been working. So that's something that as my newer folks that are coming out and trying to say, well, hey, I want to work from home. It's you have to make sure that you understand that you're going to be sitting at a desk looking at a computer screen for a extended period of time. OK, um, so they do want you to have a very quiet, distracting free background. Um, they do want you to have a home office that's going to have like cable Internet, um, things of that nature. So anything such as wireless or anything of that nature is not going to be viable. More of our common issues. Now, one thing they do want you to do is they do want you to have a um, typing speed of 50 words per minute. OK, so again, if you've got an issue with being able to type that fast, make sure that you go and take a couple of typing tests uh, just to see exactly what your typing uh, skills will be because I'm pretty sure that they are going to uh, send you a test uh, that you are going to have to pass and you have to be at 50 words per minute. So that does seem as though they're not going to have any preset um, preset uh, terms that are preset phase, phrases that you're going to just be able to send to the students you're going to have to literally type all of that stuff up for them so you got to have a high school diploma must be 18 years or older a uh, good schedule um, that may include weekends and evening based on the center's uh, needs you have to be proficient in both excel outlook internet uh, and be able to do maybe a basic data entry or word processing good written and oral skills that's just common now they are asking for you to have some level of college completed now that is just so that you will be able to kind of understand um 
the college the the mind of a college student really um so if that would not include you don't have to have a four-year degree or anything of that nature if you took a couple courses at your local college i think that you'd probably be accepted into uh this particular uh particular position okay they just want you to have some understanding again of the college mind all righty uh you have to be able to provide good co- uh good customer service experience they want you to have a good customer service uh and must be enthusiastic energetic and professional at all time now the states in which they are currently hiring is going to be alabama arkansas florida georgia indiana kentucky louisiana michigan missouri mississippi north carolina new mexico nevada ohio Oklahoma, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, Wisconsin, and West Virginia. So again, my New York folks and my California folks, you guys are off the list, but so are other states as well. Uh, So they are some good options here. Let's go ahead and mosey on over to the live uh, customer service side and let's see how they vary. So again, they kind of all are one and the same at this point. They're saying the same thing here. So live chat, technical customer service. Uh, so they're pretty much saying the same exact thing. Now, there is not any pay that's listed on here. I'm going to say Blackboard, traditionally, you're going to be anything past $15 an hour doing chat. Okay, let's be completely honest. Um, you're going to be past the $15 mark. Guys, if you have any questions, any concerns, any uh, needs or anything of that nature, you can always locate me in the Virtual Careers Facebook group. I'm always here if you've got questions. I'm actually thinking of doing two things that I want to bring by you. So I want to see if you guys can actually let me know in the comment section below, should there be a international group as well? Uh, And then we kind of just meet in Facebook or we kind of meet on the blog or the job board or should that just be one group and I just kind of post more international jobs? That's number one. Number two issue uh, is, is that I want to do kind of a live. I kind of want to do a big humongous live over the weekend, maybe on Saturday or Sunday where I sit on Facebook for a couple hours and go over the jobs that I just don't have the time to post during the day or during the week because I try to post right at anything from about 15 to 20 jobs a day that are going to be job options that you love. But guys, I get job posts or jobs all the time and I literally just cannot post them all the time. So I want to make sure that even if I post them maybe on like a Saturday or Sunday that we can come together, go over maybe 20, 30 jobs that week that just did not get a chance to get some light uh, and go over them. What do y'all think? I think that'd be a good idea. So let me know in the comments section if you want to do a live stream over the weekend. Uh, I'm going to think of some cute name to call it, uh, as well as do you want to have an international group? Just a separate group for my international family. You know, we got, we got cousins in Mexico. Uh, guys, see you again tomorrow with another banging job. <laughs>